I'm Dump Truck DS, and in this episode, we're gonna take a look at Simple Quake Launcher. All right, this is gonna be kind of a quick video because this thing is so simple. Uh, basically, install this into your uh, Quake directory, and upon launch, it'll scan your directory and uh, find the engines. So in, in this case, I only have Mark V in this directory. It's kind of a new install, so I don't have Quake Spasm, but if you had other engines, you would be you would be able to select them there. Then you've got your resolution. It's easy enough. So game settings might confuse some people. I just want to drop this down here and show you. If you're just going to play normal Quake, um, or or just Quake with a mod, um, you use these in conjunction. But if you're going to play Quoth, or Nahara, or the mission packs, you'll want to drop this down and change that. I don't want to get into why, uh, but it just it's a command line argument that uh, some of those mods require. So if you're just playing a normal Quake mod, well, let's see what I've got in here. I've got uh, DM4 Jam. Let's do Gib, Font, Gib Fountain. And that's just a, a little mod that I downloaded recently. It has one map there. So that's the only map category, uh, the only map selection you could do. But let's say like uh, Speed Map Pack 186, it shows you all the, the maps in that directory. So you can choose that. But let's go to Gib Fountain, just because it's kind of ridiculous. Um, you choose your skill, obviously. So the command line, if you need to add extra commands, you can just double click down here um, and then add, you know, exec uh, config or something, you know, that kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. And in order to clear that, you use the middle mouse button. Um, the tooltips are really handy. What you can do is uh, you can copy these uh, c commands to a, the clipboard, but then this is the really cool thing. Um, down here, you have a create shortcut using the current options. You can do it on the desktop or in the game folder. So I love this. So I'm just gonna do that. And um, I don't wanna show you my desktop. It's really a mess. But anyway, trust me, it's there. So that's Simple Quake Launcher. It's really handy. I highly recommend it, especially if you switch between engines or mods or resolutions or whatever, um, which I do quite often actually for these videos. So there's a download link right under the video. Go grab it. Hey, thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next video.